Welcome to the Oki Woodsman channel. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you what just may very well be the best chainsaw combination you can get out there. And no, I'm not talking brands. I'm talking about the size and the displacement of two saws. Let's take a look. A lot of people want to just simply have one chainsaw to do it all. You can do that. Some people say, hey, if I can only have one saw for the rest of my life, I want a 94 cc saw. Some people say I can do everything I need to do with a 50 cc saw. We're not talking brands here. We are talking displacement and size. All right, so look at this wood pile here. This wood pile shows the potential need for something like this and then the wood pile over here shows a need for something like this if you have a fallen tree it's nice to have a 50 cc saw so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and run these two saws in the wood pile over here there's some bigger wood i'm not going to cut into here this is jason at rafter ease saw logs he's going to run them through that beautiful wood miser. I have videos about this machine here. If you have never seen those, make sure you check them out. Jason and I do have plans to do more in the future, but it seems like every time I come over here, I don't bring mics for some reason. That is an absolute necessity. Jason is full of information and uh, there's a lot I wanna share with you guys. Back to the saws. Let's go ahead and get started. These are beautiful, beautiful set of equipment right here. I really do like these and I would be a proud owner of if this was a MS261C and a 660. Yeah, 660, I'd rather have a 660 over a 661, I think. But you know what I would really rather have? A 500i. That's just the honest truth. But anyway, when it comes down to these saws right here, I don't think you can go wrong with this 395 or this 545. If, you know, if you're not familiar with this, this is a computerized modern saw. This is an older, old school saw. People really like these. They really, really, really like these. This saw feels like a baby. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't fired this in months. Of course. You can go ahead and cut all this up with the 395, but is the 545 maybe better for some of this? Let's see.
Let's see how the little 50cc saw does now. I can tell you it feels a lot lighter.
I saw a whole bunch of wasps buzzing around over there. I think that's all I'm gonna do on that. Let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. You'll notice in that video, when I was running that 50cc saw in that firewood pile, I just gravitated right towards that saw. And I think the reason why is I'm, I'm, I'm a little tired. I've cut already for a while on that other pile in another video. And uh, um, climbing up on the stacks and getting up in there, the 50cc was awesome. And the bigger wood, you know, when you get to 15 inches or larger, yeah, the, the 50cc saw can go quite a ways with that, but it's just no fun. It, it, it just really is no fun. You can tell you are doing more than what you ought to do if you're gonna do a lot of it, right? So if you just have to buck a log a couple times to clear a road so you can move it out of the way with your tractor, the 50cc saw is perfect. If you're doing firewood and you've got lots of large rounds, that 94 cc 395 was awesome that will be awesome to have i'm glad to have that around so anyway what an interesting conversation share below what your thoughts are um, i'm just glad that i can have both of them in the whole range of saws that i have it's really really a huge blessing guys i um, really owe owe that to you you view you comment and you share and and it's just incredible so thank you for giving me the opportunity to make these videos once again i just appreciate you thank you for watching the okie woodsman channel and i'll see you on the next one